we're just hiding. We think we're leading, but really we're just blending. Some of you have spent your whole lives blending, hiding in the middle, hiding in the middle. So afraid that people may not like you. Guess what? They can't like you or even love you until you bring as much of you to the table as possible. If you bring in a mask, if you bring in a facade, whatever they like or love isn't even true. So a lot of people talk about leadership and I think that they've got it wrong because leadership isn't something that just happens when you're making decisions or when you have a particular title or when you feel a certain type of way. Leadership is about leading in all areas. It's about knowing the way, going the way, and then turning around and showing the way. And how we do anything is how we do everything and a lot of people feel safe to do it in certain little pockets and certain little areas but not so safe to translate that into our relationships and all relationships all relationships require intimacy and some of the most intimate spaces are the ones where we are vulnerable and honest some of those most intimate spaces are when we are willing to stand on what is true for us while simultaneously being able to hold and be with what is true for someone else even if those two things don't match. So my challenge to anybody listening to me, right now I'm being a little vague, but let me go deeper. Let me go into the essence, into the micro of this conversation. Some of you right now are willing to speak some truth. You're willing to skirt around the edges. You're willing to play the game that you've always played, the, the, being the good girl and, and the good boy and the safe person and and you've you've played the role for so long that the role is now playing you you're so far out of truth and congruency right? you're, you're skirting the edges of it you're close to it but you're not there you're not there you're not in a lot of times people ask them ask well, why is my business growing why isn't this growing it's because you won't ask for what you want I worked with a woman once we were talking about her relationship I said well, what do you really want and she skirted around it for a second and I said all right let's do it like this does your partner go down on you in the way that you would like them to. And she got all shy for a moment and she was like, no. And I said, okay, so what's blocked you from asking for that? Because whatever blocks you from asking for that is also blocking you for asking for and setting your prices and declaring your business and really owning and standing in what is true for you. Ultimately, it came down to fear and self-worth. She was afraid that if she asked for what she wanted and he said, no, that would mean something about her. She was afraid that if she asked for what she wanted and he said, yes, but it, it turned out bad that it would draw them further apart. And so all of that fear and self-worth had them in worlds apart from each other. And yet the gift of your truth is whether the person says yes or no, the gift of knowing this is who this person is. And hear me loud and clear, we're always gonna have nuances and little things and ways in which we're still working through. I am, I don't got this thing completely right yet but nobody does. There's always room for improvement. There's always areas to continue to reveal ourselves. But I promise you, the more you reveal, the more you open, the more you allow yourself to be seen and heard and felt inside of what is true for you, and then give your nervous system the, 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 the hit, like, oh, I'm safe, I didn't die, I'm good. That, oh my God, y'all. That is such a game changer because then you step back in and step back in. I'll, I'll, I'll make this about surfing, right? The first time most surfers catch a wave is, is white water. And even that is scary and, and like, oh, what's going to happen here? But you know, it's, it's knee deep. You can just fall and stand up. But there's a point where you go out, out deep into the ocean. And those waves are crashing harder and harder and they're bigger. And there's a moment where you have to say, all right, either I'm going for it or I'm not. And, and when you go for it, whether you catch the wave or not, all surfers come off the wave. Most of them fall off the wave. And there's something that happens in your body when you go, oh, I didn't die. Not only did I not die, that was interesting. Not only did I not die and it was interesting, but it was fun. Let me try it again. Let me see what's here. Let me, let me go again. So I'm challenging you to go for the big waves, to declare something and then reveal. Declare something and then reveal and then hold. Hold the pose, breathe into the pose, right? Warrior one, warrior two, can you breathe into warrior one? Can you breathe into queen one? Can you breathe into king two? Can you allow yourself to be seen and heard and held in something that is scary for you? Because as you do, Jesus said it in the Bible, I don't know what verse this is, but he said, as I am lifted up, I draw all unto me. What is lifted up? Lifted up in consciousness, lifted up in heart, lifted up in spirit, lifted up in body, opening yourself. Everything comes down to relationships. And a lot of times we think that we're, we're leading, but really we're just 
hiding. We think we're leading, but really we're just blending. Some of you have spent your whole lives blending, hiding in the middle, hiding in the middle. So afraid that people may not like you. Guess what? They can't like you or even love you until you bring as much of you to the table as possible. If you bring in a mask, if you bring in a facade, whatever they like or love isn't even true. You're weird. I know you're weird. So am I. Let us see it. Let us feel it. Fly your freak flag high because I promise you there it's such a beautiful invitation when somebody lets you in to their to their oddness to their weirdness guys I'm really extroverted and really introverted some people think I hate them when we're around each other I'm just observant sometimes I'm on and I amplify it and I turn it up and I say yes Lord use me and for me to have this level of insight and wisdom it doesn't come from nowhere. I do talk, but I do spend a lot of time listening and watching and observing and noticing, noticing where I clench up, noticing where I conjole and and put myself in these little tricky situations where I'm nervous or afraid. Somebody asked me about this the other day and I said, hey, some of my biggest work used to be around um, white men with suits on. It was almost as if it was like ancestral, like this, I don't belong. It's interesting because I have clients who are white men who have run corporations and businesses and all that stuff. I love them. They love me. I had to work through that for myself. So the invitation is to reveal. Find a safe person. Let them in. Let them see you. Let them know. Because that, that is true leadership. Blessings and blessings. Beautiful souls. If you are new to the vibe, new to the tribe, new to the love's voice, spiritual millionaire family, I ask that you do a couple things. One, if you're watching this on YouTube, hit that red subscribe button and leave a comment. Biggest takeaway biggest aha moment. If you're watching this anywhere or listening to it anywhere, review and subscribe. And for those of you who are wanting to go a little deeper, I have a a book called Spiritual Millionaire. Go to PrestonSmiles.com forward slash book. It should be in the show notes. It should be in the link right here. I love you. I appreciate you. I see you keep going. You're doing the right thing. You are a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful human in progress. So don't beat yourself up. Just take it, move forward. Blessings and blessings. Home attack the asset.